We're at Edgar Street with groundsman Ben Bowen. Uh, ben, we're just uh, going to show everybody the state of the Edgar Street pitch at the moment. The frost covers are going on, but are we looking good for the game to be played tomorrow afternoon? Going good tomorrow. Yeah, we're sorted, so sheets go on. To We've got some sheets on um, now, what we did yesterday, and then we'll put the rest of the sheets on today. Uh, they'll, they'll give us a good base, down to about minus five, so we got minus three tonight game be on it'll be definitely on tomorrow and we're just going to show how where, where the sheets aren't how kind of hard the ground is but when the sun's on it, it it's okay but this is just that extra little bit of insurance just to make it's, sure we're going to be fine it's just that insurance just to get that game on we haven't had a game here for a good month now so we need this game on i've got a bit of a reputation i need these games on so to keep my uh my ongoing thing going so uh yeah we've got to get it going so and these frost covers have been here, I think you said 15 years in, in the Graham Turner era. So not many clubs non-league have these, but it was part of Hereford United's kind of stipulations of being a football league club was to have frost covers. Yeah, so when you go up into league, so league two, you've got to have your 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 protections, you've got, you've got to have your sprinkler system in for those leagues. So it's a blessing in disguise for us that we still got them after 10, 15 years and they're still in good nick. So they've uh, saved our graces for a fair few games. So to get this game on tomorrow is quite big for us. So. We're at Hereford FC with general manager Jamie Griffiths. In the background, we've got some volunteers putting the frost covers down. Jamie, it's imperative the game's on tomorrow, isn't it? Oh, massively. Um, you know, we've, we've spoken about it financially, the, the loss of the Kidderminster and the, the Gloucester games over the festive period, two, two games that would normally be really big for us. Uh, so, you know, we've, we've got to try and get games on financially, but also we had a really good November out on the pitch. We're hitting a good run of form. You know, we've got sights on the playoffs and we still want to get into the playoffs. So we need some games. We need to get some games under our belt and a good run of form going into the rest of the season. So two, two kind of reasons, financially, but also out on that pitch. We really want to start getting some, some wins under our belt and, and really do push on for those playoffs. And football's all about momentum, isn't it? Because we were like, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday winning and then yeah. it's been like, one game in five weeks and yeah. it's just hard, isn't it? No, Josh, Josh has always said that we're going to come good and November was such a good month. Yeah, Christian Pierce won Player of the Month. Not quite sure how Josh didn't win Manager of the Month. But um, yeah, he's, he's finally kind of got a squad that he's happy with and the, the players are really coming good. It's just a, a shame that December was such a kind of a washout. Um, but no, playoffs is still very much what we want to do. We know what Edgar Street can be like with, when the fans turn up. And, um, you know, it'd be great if they can come out tomorrow. I know it's cold, but it's a lovely, lovely day. So hopefully tomorrow will be the same. Um, and all, all we can say is come along to Edgar Street. If you haven't been this season yet, just pop along. Um, give the lads your support because the atmosphere can be fantastic out there and it really will be um, appreciated. It's great getting the supporters back as well because you get the extra money with uh, with the hospitality, you know, yeah. the, the bars, and, and you missed out on, on that over Christmas because we have been looking at you know, two and a half, three thousand 3,000 crowd for both yeah. Kidderminster yeah. and Gloucester. As well this season, we got the bars back kind of in-house. So we got Tilly, our events manager, and she's she's doing a fantastic job. We got BT Sport, we got Sky Sports. So we show the football in the bars before the game and after the game as well. So, you know, come along, make a day of it. Um, you know, bring your friends, bring your family. Um, it's it's such a good place when there's when there's a great atmosphere and um, you know the fans really getting behind the players so more the same and we're really excited for tomorrow it's been such a long time 11th of December since we were last back here so um, yeah we're, we're really excited looking forward to it.